Uh, here on the tomb, we see the other members of Sir Arthur Chichester's family. Uh, he kneels opposite his wife, uh, Letitia Parrott. Um, he was her third husband, and she was, by all accounts, a strong-minded, independent woman in her own right, who uh, was reputed to have a lot of influence uh, over her husband. Uh, between them, the small figure represents the great tragedy of the marriage. Uh, there was only one child, a boy called Arthur, and he died just over a month uh, after being born. Uh, what this meant was that when Sir Arthur himself died in 1625, uh, his estates passed to his brother, Edward. Uh, and it was this Edward Chichester who uh, is the real founder of the dynasty that go on to become the Earls of Donegal, and it is still um, commemorated in Belfast street names, such as Donegal Square and Chichester Street. Uh, the figure kneeling at the bottom of the tomb is another of Sir Arthur's brothers, Sir John Chichester, who preceded him as governor of Carrickfergus. Sir John was killed by the Macdonalds of Antrim in 1597. They sent his severed head to Hugh O'Neill's camp, and O'Neill's soldiers reputedly used it as a football. Uh, that's a detail which perhaps helps to put Sir Arthur's own notorious military ferocity into some sort of a context.